Welcome. So we have our project in uh, Flutterflow, and for example, we have some data form that we want to receive data from and send this data to Google Spreadsheet. I have a very simple spreadsheet here. It's a uh, name, email, and phone. Uh, and I want to save all uh, submissions from this form to my Google Spreadsheet. Uh, API for allow you very easy to connect uh, your photo flow project with Google Sheets. You need to create a new project, select Google Sheets as service you will use, and next you need to create Google Sheets connection. For example, we will use name API for uh, form demo. And next, we need to go to our Google Sheets document and share it by link. And we need to set editor access level as we will send data to this table. Now we copy link, click done, go back to API flow, paste this link, and save our connection. So now I will use my API form demo and we'll use contacts uh, document sheet. I need to choose it to open OSS and now I can publish it. I also mark as yes options that I have headers row because I have this row here with labels for every column. And now I am able to publish my project. So I am publish it. And what we need to do next, we need to copy uh, to download open API definition. We click this button and API flow prepare uh, open API definition for us. Now we go to our project in Flutterflow, API call section, and we'll import that open API definition and we have here our contacts spreadsheet connected now to Flutterflow. You can query data, you can insert rows and you can uh, get contact by index of row and update contact using this API calls. So what we will do now, we will map body request to our uh, to two variables to be able to use this action from inside of our uh, Flutterflow application page. So we have three columns. Uh, as you can see, they named by uh, column letter here in the document. And this is a way how API flow use data input. So you have not names or headers here in your document, but you have names of the columns. This differ from list action, because if you will have some data here, for example, I will pick some data. Here and I will query it from. Okay, we forgot to put authorization header actually. We need to go and copy this authorization header and add it here. So our access will be protected. And now we can query data from our spreadsheet. As you can see, it is selected. Suppose because I not saved this cell yet. As you can see, it is selected with names of our columns. But when you work with insert, you need to use column names. 
So we will create the variables for, for this. We will use variable called name. It will be type string called email. It will also be type string and uh, phone. Also type string. Save our work and now we go and mm, put this fields into request body so this data will be sent to our google spreadsheet now we can go and do a test here we will use something john and phone number you send this request and as you can see we received response and this data saved to our Google spreadsheet so what we will do next to actually use this action from our uh waterfall page we will create a Ah, we don't need data type at the moment. We will connect this form with our API request. You can use data type for response, but it's optional in this case. So we have submit form and we will create an action for top on top of this button. We will add a new action and we will use backend API call now we need to specify our group next we need to insert a new row in contacts and we need to click set additional variable we will set name value will use widget state full name additional variable email will use widget state email and next is phone widget state phone phone number so now we have all these fields mapped and for example we will call this as the response and if data saved we will add action and get to success page I created a very simple success page so it will allow us to show uh, to our visitors that his data is sent to server. Okay, so now we have these fields and button connected with our API call and let's test it. Okay, so my application is ready to for test. It took a little bit longer to load, I suppose, uh, because part of is under huge, huge demand at the moment. So we will test it. For example, I will put some name like visitor, mail, mail, sample, com and phone number and submit my form and my form is submitted and i see the screen let's check on data yes it's saved to our google spreadsheet so this is how you can connect your waterfall project your forms and different screens via api flow project to google spreadsheet and send and receive your data and work with google spreadsheet in very smooth easy to manage way thank you for your attention please check other video in our channel and if you have any question you can let me know in the comment or visit our website apiflow.me and ask any help in the chat.
Thank you and have, have a nice day.